The church is empty. We are beginning to think about plans for how we gather again and worship. But one thing that won't happen for quite a while, even after we get here into the building, is we won't be able to have communion. It's just too dangerous to have the cup and the bread passed around when there's the potential of passing around the virus. We just, we just can't do it. And so the patent is empty. The chalice is empty. Believe me, I miss this as much as you do, if not more. One of the joys of my life over the last 32 years has been able to stand at the altar and stand and preside over communion. It means so much to me personally. And I know it means a lot to you to be able to receive. And as I said, that won't be happening for quite a while. But I have something for you to think about in the meantime. Regis Duffy, who is a great Roman Catholic scholar, used to say that every Christian religion at some level says that in communion, in bread and wine, somehow Christ is present. We may differ in how we think about the presence of Christ. We may differ about what we think the means are. We may think, differ around what we think the meaning is. But the idea that Jesus is present with us pervades all of Christianity. And so he says, if we're asking, is Jesus really present in communion, we're asking the wrong question. The question we should be asking is, are we present? Do we bring ourselves to communion? Do we bring ourselves to the presence of Christ so that we can be transformed and become the body of Christ for the world? People who go out into the world and proclaim the love of God. If we are present to the Christ, that's how we get transformed. We may not have the bread and the wine for a long time to come, but we still proclaim the presence of Christ. And that presence asks us, are you present? Are you willing to be here and be transformed to become the body of Christ for the sake of the world?